Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see pricing procedure in SAP SD. So we are going to see the steps in the live system. So the first step, different condition table. Second step, different access sequence. Third step, different condition type. Different pricing procedure, fourth step. Fifth step, document pricing procedure. Sixth step, customer pricing procedure. 7th step, pricing procedure determination, 8th step, condition report creation in BK11 transaction. Let me show that in the live system. I'm going to go, go to the live system. Let's go to workbench VOK0. VOK0, transaction report VOK0. Okay, first step is, these are all the steps. First step is condition table. Let me create the condition table. Go to environment. Here it is, environment. Condition table, create. Transaction code is B-0303. It's the transaction. Okay. Let's go to 625. Number 625. Any number above 500. Press enter. 626. Any number above 500. Page up and page down will work. Page down. Let's go to page down. Sales, organization, distribution channel. Select the field from the field catalogs. These are all field catalogs. Distribution channel. Here, distribution channel. Page, page up. Customer. Page job. Material. Material. Okay, for this sales organization, for this distribution channel, for this customer, and for this material, we are going to give the pricing. Okay, this is what the meaning, meaning is. Okay, generate. Continue. Yes. So I have generated condition table 626. 626 is my condition table. Okay, now let me create the access sequence. Come back. Now go to condition type access sequence. Continue. New entry. A626. A626. Access sequences. A626. And the transaction code for this is B dash B dash zero seven. It's a transaction code. Present. Select onto this line item, double click onto accesses, go to new entry, number one. Condition table is six twenty six. Press enter. Enter again. Enter. Select onto this line item, double click onto the fields, press enter. So access sequence is generated. Save. So now press F3 to come out. Exit. Okay. Third, third is condition type. Condition type. This is the condition type. What I'm going to create is Z626. Z626 is the condition type I'm going to create. Condition type, go to condition types, definition. V dash, V slash 06. V slash 06 is the transaction code. Transaction code for condition type. Now go to PR00. PR00 is my condition type. I'm going to copy it from the condition type. SAP itself is saying saying that to copy from the existing standard. Okay, copy as. Now, set 626, base price. Learn, learn to double. My access sequence for this is A626, A626. Condition type is set 626. Okay, A626 is my access sequence, which I'm giving it here, here. 
Okay, press enter and save. Continue. Press enter to continue. So I have created condition type also. And the fourth one is I'm going to create pricing procedure. Z626 Z Z. It's my pricing procedure. I'm going to create this. Okay. Now come back. So go to pricing procedure. Pricing procedure. New entry. Okay. This is my pricing procedure. Learn to. Okay, select onto this, double click onto this line item, new entry, step one. My condition type is Z626. Present. So requirement is two. And account key is ERL. ERL. Present. Here it is two. Save it. Present. Press. Let's come back. Z622, 626 ZZ. Come back. Next one. Document pricing procedure is standard. A. Customer pricing procedure is one standard. I'm going to use it standard only. Let me show that here. Document pricing procedure maintain. A. A. I'm going to use standard only. Come back. Pricing procedure, customer pricing procedure one. I'm going to use standard only. Okay. So I'm not going to create it. Okay. So now pricing procedure determination. Let's go to pricing procedure, pricing procedure determination. My sales organization is LD01. LD01. Distribution channel LD. Division LD. Document pricing procedure A, customer pricing procedure 1. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to search based on that criteria. What is my pricing procedure? My pricing procedure is set 626. Let me copy this here, paste it here. Condition type is set 626. Set 626. Document pricing procedure A, customer pricing procedure 1. My sales organization distribution channel LD LD. Save. So I have saved it. Now let's come back. Now I'm going to give final condition record creation. This is VK level. So this also done. So this is VK level. Go to VK level. VK level. Set 626 is my condition type. Here, condition type is set 626. Press enter. This is my customer. My material is 5937 is my material. 15,500 is my material. Price. I'm going to give. I'm, I'm going to sell this material to this customer for this 15,500 rupees. Save it. Now, let me go to sales order. Go to slash and BA0. Sales order. Enter this. Customer sold to party. That's my Customer 5937. Quantity 1. CF 15,500. Okay. Let me enter payment terms, import terms. Double click onto this line item, go to shipping, storage location, net weight and gross weight. And gross weight. And let me save this. My sales order number is 15005. Sales order number is 15005. 15005. I'm going to post the material now. Go to slash and MIGO. I'm going to post a material. Okay. Material, go to material. This is my material. Quantity 100. From where? 
plant is LD01, story location LD01, and save it. Now let me go to BL01N, BL01N, and do delivery to the customer. Shipping point LD01. This is my sales order. One five, one five double zero five. This is my sales order. Let me enter. Okay, picking mandatory. Let me do the picking. Post goods issue. Let's do the post goods issue. EGI. Now I'm going to do the customer bill. Final sum. BF0. BF0. Press enter and save. It'll take a little bit of time. BF0. BF0. Press enter and save it. This is the net, net value. 15,500 is my net value. I am just saving it. Control S is my save. So, over. Thank you. Thank you very much.